Well, honey, a long time not see you. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've been up here. I've been working on a lot of things. I'm not telling you what I'm doing. I'll tell you after I do it and I see progress. Because <laughs> I'm learning, that's how you jinx yourself. <laughs> and then people come and distract you when they know that you're doing stuff. Anyways, um, the one thing I will tell you I'm doing is going to the Bitcoin conference. So if you didn't know that, now you know. And um, yeah, life is good. I'm alive for anybody who was wondering. I got my curl back in my hair. If you guys remember, if you look at my older videos from like two years ago, my hair was like this short here. It's like now like that long, right? But it was this, and the longer it is, the more curly that I can get it. It was this short and it was just like waves. It was just, it looked almost just waves. And now I got all these curls, so many curls uh, everywhere. But yeah, so that's the only thing that's different about me. Um, I mean, obviously I've grown and changed into a different person. I mean, nobody stays the same or else you're just not growing. Uh, but I don't really have anything planned other than the Bitcoin conference. Um, I'm going to have to work on the indigenous documentary to get the donations in. I don't want to use any more of my personal funds because I've invested a ridiculous amount, you know, setting up the nonprofit and getting the business plan and then, um, getting the videos edited and done for like GoFundMe and stuff like that. So it's, it's a lot of investments. Um, and then I traveled to Peru for a month and I went to like eight different regions in Peru and met a bunch of different tribes. Um, that was amazing. And then I went to Sedona uh, to meet some people and um, uh, Native Americans. They were uh, Navajo and Toltec. And I would love to go to Mexico next, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for, for the donations to come in. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. And once I get the tax exempt status, then I'm going to start applying for grants and things of that nature. Um, if you guys ha can donate to a charity, once I get the tax exempt status, I might be able to start accepting char um, donations soon. I'm talking to somebody about, they accept it on my behalf and then they give it to my charity once the, um, they give it to me right away. But then it's, you know, once the tax exempt status is approved, it's like retroactive, you know? So whoever donated will get the tax exempt status from them. But then for my company, it'll be retroactive, like the actual acceptance of the donation. Um, so, and the reason I waited until now is because I wanted to make sure that it started in 2021. I didn't really want to get into the accounting aspect of it for um, 2022, sorry. I didn't want to get into the accounting aspect of it in 2021 because I didn't know what I was doing, right? So that's what's going on with the indigenous documentary. Um, I do plan on traveling to a few countries this month, uh, this month, this year. For the documentary uh but again that's just with high hopes that everything falls into place um if there are any grant writers out there that want to help me out pro bono i would appreciate that <laughs> uh, i do have a business plan that i think i could use to apply for the grants um but i kind of have to look it over uh, and i guess tweak it and stuff like that but other than that that's really what i've been doing is just focusing on myself my endeavors the things that i want to do uh, you know, healing from the breakup, because I don't know if you guys remember, I met a guy, thought I was going to get married and have kids, found out that he could not let go of the women from his past. Um, I had a miscarriage. It was like, ugh. and a year later, I, this is part of like, you know, why I'm going to these places to heal and do the documentary. And it's like a double edged sword kind of thing. Um, I'm like ready to just go out there and get started all over again, because I only have so many childbearing years, <laughs> you know, I'm 42 in case you guys don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm single and ready to mingle for anybody out there that would like to get to know me. Uh, I'm not looking to just hook up. I'm looking to like work towards something and invest into a relationship so that it can move forward. But other than that, that's what I'm up to. Um, I made another video before on crypto. Not, not much going on there. I'm not investing anymore. Um, I'm just trying to like catch up with all my crypto and swap it if I need to. I've lost a lot. So I got to figure out how to claim the loss on my taxes this year. 
Some people say you have to sell it to claim a loss and other people say you could just report the loss because the coin is invalid, meaning you can't even sell some of these coins. So I'm still figuring all of that out. If anybody knows, please leave it in the comments below. I could really use the help. <laughs> other than that, um, I really don't have anything else to say. That's what I got for you. Bye.